we started doing uh, cigar reviews and uh, reading a lot about them uh, to intentionally force myself to extend, expand my palate. So just like, hey, this one tastes like, uh, this one always tastes like bread, or this one always tastes like this, and just really stop and think about, okay, what are some of the flavors that you're getting or things that you think you might be getting? When I, it, it just helped me personally to you know really think about think about my cigar instead of going, hmm, yeah, this is a good cigar. What does it taste like? It tastes kind of like a cigar, you know, like, so, and, you know, because, because it's my industry, you know, I should, so. So today I have a uh, Perdomo Habano. This has a uh, Corojo wrapper right here. The uh, Corojo leaf is uh, actually grown exclusively in the Yamstron Valley in uh, Honduras. Um, they're originally uh, done in Cuba. They don't do them in Cuba anymore. I'm not sure why. There's actually been a, a curator who's uh, started doing them uh, in Kentucky that's actually been doing them in Western Kentucky uh, since 2007. Uh, the soil conditions there are very similar to uh, uh, Pinar, Cuba, and they've had a great success with it. Now, I haven't seen anything actually come out of uh, Kentucky as far as having, as far as having this wrapper. But uh, just an interesting uh, uh, little side note there for you. Um, this is the uh, the Perdomo Habano Sun Grown. Um, I really like this label. It's you know nice and ornate. It's got a little bit of shininess there. Who doesn't love shiny things? And it's got it's got this nice uh, foot banding right there to really accent accent the wrapper. As far as the cigar construction goes, it's a uh, very neatly rolled. There are, there is one looks like a uh, one pretty predominant vein right here uh, right here on top. I don't think that'll give us uh, any problems though. Uh, from from Perdomo with all the reviews I've done and all the cigars I've smoked of, for the most part I've been uh, very happy with Perdomo. So, there's a really nice chocolatiness on this uh, on this uh, smell here. Uh, that chocolate is very uh, very pronounced. It's it's like a like a sweet milk chocolate, not like a not like a, a baking chocolate. Uh, the the cap this looks like a, like a double cap, and you see I've got it punched here already. In case you haven't watched any of my other cigar reviews, I'm a very big fan of punching. So. Sweet hay dominates this cold draw. Yeah, not much else. Not much else going on there. Um, so milk chocolate on the wrapper, and then sweet hay on on the cold draw. Um, as far as the draw goes, it's very, very light, very easy, um, a very good draw. So I'm gonna light this up and be back in one second. There's lots and lots of cedar just coming through, really, uh, really sharp right now. There's uh, some other things sneaking around uh, there in the background. I can't quite put my tongue on it though. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to say that sweet milk chocolate, but it's got a little bit of sweetness, but I, I, I don't, don't feel like it's the, uh, like it's that milk chocolate sweetness. Uh, it's more reminiscent of that sweet hay. So I'm gonna get here into the uh, first third and uh, be right back. So I'm through the first third of this uh, Perdomo Habano. The ash is kind of flaky. It's, it's hanging on okay, but I've got uh, quite a few flakes that have been hanging it off, so I'm gonna tap this right there. Uh, but the ash has been hanging on uh, pretty well, uh, except for those few flakes uh, coming off. The burn is doing pretty, pretty good as well. Um, those veins haven't really affected anything in it. Um, as far as the flavors go, uh, uh, right as I had uh, uh, stopped recording um, on the for the first light, I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a lemongrass in there for for a few puffs. It was a very pronounced lemon, um, but just for the just for those those few puffs, so that was that was interesting. Um, the flavors right now are uh, very much wood, uh, very much that that cedar wood. It's kind of mellowed out. It's not as cedary uh, as it was. Those real mellow chocolate tones are in there too. Um, there's a little bit of a, uh, almost like a mustiness in there too, not, not in a bad way. Um, a very good uh, flavor of a, kind of a muddled, uh, 
mustiness is, is the best way I can describe it right now. So that's for the uh, first third. I'm going to be right back with uh, the second third in one sec. So I am through the second third here. Um, you can see how this burn was kind of real long on this side. Um, I actually ended up having to do a touch up because I just had this overhang that was just not catching up with anything. And that's really the only uh, bad part of this burn that's happened so far. Um, as far as the flavors go, it's just lots of real uh, rich, uh, woody, creamy tones. That, sh like I said, that sharp cedar is all gone. It's just kind of general, general wood tones. Um, what tones right now? The draw. The draw is still excellent. The smoke production is excellent. Um, uh, a very smooth cigar, a very uh, nice burning cigar. Um, the those uh, those flavors of, of wood have uh, just been uh, you know real pronounced. Um, so far, it's been not. I can't really say it's been a one note cigar, but at the same time, the. The single flavor that stands out overall is is just uh, is just wood. So I'm gonna get here into the last third, and I'll be right back in one sec. So I'm just about done with this Perdomo. The uh, the overall flavors that I've been getting here in this last third have just been real consistent with with that wood. It's turned a little bit a little bit darker as far as wood tones go, but I personally think that's just because I've gotten here uh, here towards the end. I like, see the burn on it is uh, not great, so this burn hasn't been fantastic the whole way through, but it hasn't necessarily been uh, been horrible either. Uh, I would go as far as to label this kind of a one note cigar with those with those wood tones. Like I said, it had some some interesting uh, some uh, interesting twists there in the in the beginning of it but uh nothing that i would say made it really stand out as a as a real complex cigar so as far as complexity i wouldn't say it's 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 real complex the draw is still fantastic the smoke production is fantastic the ash is hanging on a lot better now it's not flaky near as much as it was in the beginning i did develop a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a split here in the here in the top, I'm not sure if you can see that right there, that split. So I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of excess air in, but this late in the cigar, it's it's uh, kind of a moot point. Um, it's because that draw is still so uh, still so good. So uh, very good cigar that I would uh, that I would say uh, you know has been uh, good uh, from from start to finish. I got got no bitterness in it. Uh, very uh, very smooth smoke, uh, very smooth smoke overall. So if you're not there already, Brothers Fine Tobacco, and as always. Thank you for watching.